Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a great day. With the final act of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the new movie, being kept a secret as much as possible until release, a lot of people are still speculating that we'll see a famous character return, be it Cell or even canonize Android 21. But today I want to discuss with you briefly about the reasons it very well may be Android 21. But rather than to speculate too heavily early on in the video, I'm going to start off by looking at it in a plainly logical way. So let's start off by saying it would be a very strange part of the plot to keep secret if it were to be the resurrection of Cell. Because as you'd imagine, if it were the case, they'd go all out for promotion as they did with Frieza in Resurrection F or with Broly in Dragon Ball Super Broly and try to engage the old fans who have since stopped watching. Whereas if the rumours are true and they haven't actually shown the final antagonist off yet, whether it's Gamma 3, Cell, Android 21 or whatever, the promotion of this movie has been trash at best. And it's important to note that when looking into this. I do appreciate that in the last couple of months the promotion has been a lot better, so I'll preface it by saying that. But this movie has been in the works for well over a year now and has had next to no promotional posters, teasers or trailers until the last couple of months. And with that being said, it doesn't mean the film's going to be bad by any stretch of the imagination. It may have even been a strategic move to not show anything because they didn't want to alienate the fanbase with rough looking CGI until it was further into completion, like it is now. And to be fair, recently I've seen nothing but praise for the look of the movie, so that's always a nice turnaround, so perhaps this strategic move may have worked. But due to this, I think if they did have an old major villain to show off, they'd have done it to boost the interest so close to the movie's release, given that they hadn't done much promotion over the last year. Cell is an incredibly famous bad guy that would bring in a lot of old fans. He's a lot of people's favourite villain. He's not mine, personally, but he's a lot of people's favourite villain. Whereas Android 21 is a character that's been created within the last decade, and in fairness, anybody that's interested in playing Dragon Ball Fighters for the Dragon Ball franchise aspect of the game are likely to see the movie regardless of who the antagonist is. But given Android 21's tremendous popularity with the fanbase since her introduction in Dragon Ball Fighters, blasting her way into both Xenoverse 2, Dokkan Battle, even Legends, Heroes and Kakarot, I could very well see Toei approaching Toriyama the same way that they did with Broly, with the request to somehow place her into the canon. As far as the clues for this go, there are some reaches, some more convincing than others, but I'm going to go through a couple of them now. Let's start off with one of the big reaches that I've seen. I've seen this over Twitter and over a lot of comments on YouTube, but a big reach I've seen is the fact that Gamma 1 and 2 feature both model numbers that can be rearranged to spell 21. It's as simple as that. But even if this were a clue, I strongly doubt they're going to be involved in any way, shape or form into her design. And by that I mean, I really doubt that she's going to absorb them to become Android 21 or something. It's more likely a reach than a clue, in my honest opinion. But fair enough for people that wanted to speculate that. We're never going to figure out new things to speculate about unless people actually come up with these things, as small as they may be. The next suggestion is a little bit more down to earth. There's been recent Dragon Ball Fighters DLC out of the blue where we got base form Android 21 to play as. This could be seen as early promotional content for the movie as its period of release is highly suspect for anything else. But this could simply just be a nice surprising piece of DLC with a coincidence of timing. A fair point I've seen mentioned online is the fact that her number is Android 21 and not Android 12 because this suggests that she was created after Dr. Jiro had become an android because of course Dr. Jiro was Android 20 and he was supposed to be the last android. This gives more weight to the suggestion that she could have been released recently rather than having been roaming around undetected for all this time. But I do want to say however even if she had been roaming around undetected for all this time, androids can't be sensed and therefore would go undetected anyway. The most convincing argument so far has been the giant bomb ball that we see in the last trailer. That was fun to say, giant bomb ball. It's projecting smoke in the trailer the same way that Margin Boo's ball cocoon does in the Bobbity arc before his release. Could this be Android 21 turning herself into a Margin? Well, it's possible. We do know that Dr. Jiro programmed Android 19 to help turn him into Android 20, and Dr. Hero from the new movie could in fact be an Android himself created by Android 21 for the purpose of transforming her into a Margin. Maybe it's the eyes or the fact he's chubby, but he reminds me of 19. Knowing that Gohan defeated Cell, had she been around prior to this, Android 21 would have knowingly not bothered to attack Gohan for revenge because she knew, power-wise, that she wouldn't stand a chance. So instead, she waits until she can discover a power that could be used to boost her to a point where she could have a fighting chance. The Margin power. And a lot of you might be thinking, well, how did she see that? Everybody was wished to forget about Margin Boo or Mr. Boo. Well, the truth is, if you go to a tournament and see him fighting alongside Mr. Satan, you're kind of going to see the powers that he has. So it's not exactly a stretch to think 
think she might have seen one of those and gone, hmm, might use that for myself. But I actually quite like the way that this ties into the fact that Gohan is the protagonist of the movie, because he's actually the only member of the main cast that witnessed Majin Buu's cocoon other than Supreme Kai. But of course, Supreme Kai isn't a member of the main cast. So he would have traumatic flashbacks of trying to blast the cocoon prior to Boo emerging. Either way, the fact that Gamma 1 and 2 are in this movie seems like a massive decoy to the actual final antagonist. And I believe that there could very well be an appearance from Android 21 in this movie. But what do you guys think? Have you seen any evidence that I've missed? Have you got your own thoughts as to who the final villain might be? Or do you think it will simply be Gamma 3 or something predictable like that? Which, to be fair, isn't exactly beyond Dragon Ball these days. But let me know in the comments section down below. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this from WK Kanji, and until we meet again, bye!